Matt Fernandez here, a solutions architect with Red Hat North America Public Sector. I want to show off the demo I have of automated self-healing with ServiceNow and VMware, and of course using Ansible automation platform together with event-driven automation to do it. The idea here is we have some critical app uh, that runs as a web service. In this case, it's just a, a simple Nginx server, but this is something that it needs to be up as much as possible. Um, anytime it's down, we should be we should be notified fairly quickly. And ideally, if we can simply auto remediate it or heal it in some way, that would be fantastic. Because how many how many operations IT uh, system administrators want to be woken up in the middle of of the night? Um, you know, we like to sleep. We like to do things that make us happy, but um, but we don't want to be we don't want to be interrupted from those things to go bounce a web server or or you know go restart a database something something simple like that those should just be processes that have built in process pro, built that have you know some sort of built in uh, workflow for for remediating them so that we're going to show that off with with Ansible today uh, ServiceNow is here for situational awareness keeping track of, of what we've done and how, how we did our auto remediation. So this is my simple web app. It's very simple. It's just, it's just a, a, a cute puppy. Um, and before we get started uh, taking it down, I, I wanna show off a couple of these dashboards. So um, this is the new event-driven automation uh, web GUI. You can see it's running. Uh, anytime we get in an, an activation in here, we're going to see it. Um, we'll get back to that later. This is the auto remediation workflow that I alluded to earlier. So uh, the first step of this process is to open a ticket uh, for the incident that has that has been detected. So we're just going to, we're, we've already detected that the web app is down at this point from our monitoring stack. And Ansible is going to create a ticket in ServiceNow to keep track of uh, keep track of this this incident that we've detected. The next step is to redeploy the web servers. So this is just going to do the the first um, most basic thing that we would probably do as a system administrator: SSH into the box, um, make sure that the the web app is actually deployed in the state that we expect it to be, uh, make sure the nginx service is started and running, um, and all of that from an application standpoint. The next uh, you notice that we have a, a red line and a green line here. So if this if this succeeds, we're able to uh, ensure that the service is up and running by again actually SSHing into the machine. Um, then we're going to resolve the incident that we originally created. However, if this fails, we're going to take the next step. We're going to go to the virtualization stack, VMware in this case, and we're going to revert this VM to a last known working state. So simply reverting the snapshot of the VM. Um, and if that is successful, then we're gonna resolve the snow incident, the, the service now incident that we originally created. So let's actually do this. You can see we're in the web app now. Nginx is, Nginx is up and running. I'm gonna kill it. And notice if we go back to this application now, it is indeed down. Our monitoring has likely already picked it up and we probably have a new job running in automation platform. Um, and you see that we, we actually do. The first thing it does again is open up this ServiceNow incident. So if I go to my incidents, refresh here, we'll have one, it's critical, this important app is down, um, even though it should not be. And you can see we've already got an update here from Ansible. So we're gonna attempt our auto remediation self-healing of this, this important app. And you can see I linked right to the, the workflow. So it's, it is indeed working on it. And this, this first step, deploy the web server. Let's go to the output of it. Like I said, installs the package, um, create, creates it to, to, to our liking and ensures that the service is up and running. It turns out that this was this was all that was needed. We just needed to restart the service, as you saw, because I killed it earlier. And we did actually resolve the snow incident. And so now the web app should be back up and running. And indeed it is. 
Okay, so what if what if that's not enough? We have a second stage here. I'll go ahead and go back to this um, this web server, and instead of stopping the service, I'm going to just remove the IP address. That's an evil thing I can do. Flush ENS one ninety two. You can now see that I'm actually I'm hitting enter, but um, nothing is happening because we can no longer reach this web server. Uh, it no longer has an IP address. So this is particularly bad and it can't be fixed via simply SSHing back into the box. We, we would have to do something like interact at the virtualization layer in order to resolve this. So I'm gonna go back to my incidents and you see I have, uh, let's see, is this actually another one? No, this is the solved one. We're gonna have to wait a little bit to, to get our new, um, our new one because I have it throttled here, I think. So let's wait just a second. Okay, there we go. And we have our new incident that has been created. Um, again, Ansible is working on it. However, this time we will see it go the failure route. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the output of this. It's, it's trying to connect to it, but it will fail. There we go. And now we take the failure uh, line to revert to a snapshot. And of course, this is going to revert first and then go through all of the steps to make sure that it is actually powered on and that the web server is available. And at the very end, assuming it's successful, we'll resolve the ServiceNow incident that we created. There we go, it looks like it is finished. We'll go back to the app. It's back up and running. And just to check the incident that we, yeah, the incident that we created, and we'll refresh this. And we see that it is solved and closed. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching and happy automating.